Hello, how you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. So I've been using Linux for a little bit, since 2008. I pretty much stayed around the Ubuntu type distributions or distributions based on Ubuntu as we are here in elementary OS. So ever since Adobe stopped offering a Debian uh, a download for PDFs, which has been a while, I've always been off and on on the lookout for a PDF application. And over that period of time, it looks like there's been a few that have been around for a while or sprung up or have offered it. And I'm not talking about FOSS, free and open source software or open source software. I'm talking about any kind of PDF application. Um, the ones that I'm looking at today, they're not in those repositories. So obviously they're not open source. Don't get me wrong, I like, I like open source, but when it comes to certain types of applications, I would be, I would prefer something different. So this video is, is different. So let's get into it then. So suppose we're looking at a or need to have the need to look at and use a form. So this is WPS PDF. It's just a viewer. I can't click on it and imp input any data into the fields because it is a uh, interactive form. Um, I can't highlight anything and then right click other than copy to make comments. As you can see here on the other side of the column, you just get page one and two. And in the menu, you can go to properties. You can Go into the settings. And help for the about. And what you see is what you get here. You can use it as a presentation, but other than that, it's just a viewer, which is fine. So you can view portable document files, PDFs. Okay, so that's fine. Let's take a step up then. Let's go to 
Fox at Reader. Oh, look at this here now. So, with Fox at Reader, it's interactive. You can now input the form and do whatever you'd like to with it. And Okay, so see up here in the top and top of the window, the window bar. And now change his name. So let's now go into here and you can see there's also a name here. And look, in the viewer PDF viewer from WPS, it has inputted the data and saved it. But I'm still trying to click on it and still can't do anything with it. So at least you can still view your changes. Okay, we're going to exit out of that. Then we come to, we'll go over that, and we'll go over that one. We're going to come back to that one. PDF SAM, basic. Now this one here is different. You don't look at the, pa the paper, but it gives you these here options in the menu. And another thing, if you look at the window uh, bar on the top here, every where everything is at, I can't minimize, except for my, down here with my dock, I can't change the window size or anything. It pretty much just takes up the whole desktop by default. Which is fine if this is an application that you need. So this is home, some info, go down here to the close, and then here for workspace, load, save, modules, others, split, merge. But if you come to home up here, you pretty much get this screen and there are premium features available. So let's, uh, this is basically what you do and this is what you get too. Then you come here to select. I'm just going to do the one that right there, open, overwrite if already exists. Now this here pretty much, I've learned to check it off automatically, but I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and run it. Now it'll ask you to overwrite anyway, but it's, it's not really overwriting it, and, we'll, and I'll show you. So as you can see, it gave it, these, this is from PDF Sam. It gave page one. And as you can see, that's all there is. And that's all it does. It splits your document into the number of pages that are there. And that's fine if that's all you need PDF SAM for. So the next one would be PDF Studio View Viewer. Contains yes. And this is interactive as well.
And we can come to File here. Save as to computer. I'm going to say, I'm going to put a dash and test. as before, but let's change it. Let's do caps. This way we know this one is from PDF Studio Viewer. Let's exit out of it. And here it is. And of course, this is the one we, we just made. And so the last one to look at is the master PDF editor. And here you can see you can create a new document, a blank document. And just say okay. Now you got a blank page. So if you literally need to create a blank PDF document from scratch and build it up, and create a full-fledged document. This one's for you. And so there you go. Obviously, I did something. I don't re re recollect what I did here. You are not allowed to use this function in the free version. The unregistered version will insert a watermark. And that's fine. Okay. Now let's go to this. And so... This document contains interactive form fields. So even though it contains form fields, you can still insert text. Let me, uh, here we go. No, that's not what I want. There we go. You used a little hand. Now you can input text into the form. Then save as the unregistered version will insert a watermark. That's okay. Now give it an extension again. I put master. So we know it's from master PDF. As you can see, I changed some items in the form field. Save, okay. Oh, I'm just gonna cancel that. I'm not worried about that. Exit, close without saving. And there you go, you see the text here, that right here, from the text box, and inside the form. 
So what do we have a look at here for PDFs? We looked at Boxit Reader. We looked at WPS PDF. PDF SAM Basic. PDF Studio Viewer 2019 and Master PDF Editor. So there are quite a few PDF applications other than the ones you will find in the repositories. Thank you.